sing the song? Yes. Everybody. Here we go. Sing the song. I know what you're going to Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. <laughs> getting to like you. Getting to hope you like me. Haven't you noticed? Suddenly I'm all bright and breezy. Because of all the wonderful and new things we're learning about you here today. <laughs> I guess Kid Force, everybody. Go, yeah. Bye. Yeah. yeah, baby, I'm going to serenade you. He serenades all the ladies. That's right. Um, Thank you, Kid, for coming out today. No problem. Coming all this way. in. You're not in the ghetto, but we can see the fence. <laughs> so I want to thank you for coming out here. Yeah, I'll say. There you go. Now tell me if you can hear anything. If you can't, I'm over to your rescue. Now let me, you guys, you good? Yeah. Good. Take a look at her book because that's what it's all about. Ooh. Reality TV vixen. And you know what? See, there's a bunch of ways to approach this. So you know, we like to, we they and our poor guests. They never know what they're getting into. No. They never know what they're getting Can into. Can I see? Did you bring us a book, or is that your book? You take. Okay, I know you. That's why I forgot. I'm sorry. Jeez, the way he's passed the book over. Please. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Kim Force, the star of VH1's Real Chance of Love too. A lot of controversy. Yes. On that show, a lot of you know they were they were getting me interested, <laughs> but Kip has taken it to another level. Let me tell you a little bit about her. Top 10 hottest reality show chicks. She launched her book on May 31st this year, her tell-all book. That's right. Uh, something I want to read tonight with my robe open. <laughs> I got to go I gotta go read it. Because take a look, see. See, like I said, here's the picture, Vic. You know, I have my visual aids. You know, Mario. I have my visual aids. Can't you keep things clean? Yeah, like no. Okay. No. All right. This All is right. one of those days. I'm going to let Kip... Determine how how clean it is because the chat room already yeah yeah has a crazy thing but you guys it's wonderful so active you know we talk so often here at Pax Stereo that we have entrepreneurs not we always say more than just eye candy so we we and, and for some reason women for some reason women entrepreneurs who are really working on their own brands their own product lines. Uh, taking it to another whole level. And Kip really represents that. I want to take a look at the site, therealkipforce.com, you guys. Mm. I want to take a look at the site because it's all about it's how closely they are connecting. In fact, maybe, first of all, everybody, did they get a chance to look at her, Vic? Oh, yeah. I, I'll, you know what? You can hold on for a second. I'm going to breathe. One, <laughs> two, three. Well, matter of fact, we can go to commercial and just keep the picture right there. I'm fine. <laughs> that is a hell. How you doing, Kip? Good. How are you? I'm better now. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I wasn't lying. I did. I went. To, I went to check out the site, and so I was in a very relaxed mood. <laughs> and so you know, because I remember watching some of the episodes of the show. Right. So I had to refresh myself with some of the people. And it's a whole group of them, and it's all hot. So that's where the whole idea of learning about what goes on behind the scenes. But mm -hmm. so where did you get this whole idea? Because now here you come, and it's not just the book. It's not just the book, Vic, that she has the tell-all book. I know. But she's actually teaching folks, instructing folks about how to take advantage of opportunities, how to navigate a very unfriendly world that often would seek to take advantage of women <laughs> such as yourself. This is true. Heavens forbid. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. Um, I came up with the concept because a lot of my fans kept asking me the same question on Facebook. It was always, is it real? Is it fake? Were you there for love? How much did you get paid? How long were you there? And mm -hmm. when I got the same question, like, 20, 25 times, I realized that people were really interested. Yeah, I was interested. I still am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I decided to just write about it. And then a lot of girls would ask me um, questions. A lot of people, when you get off TV, they feel like you're 
their friend like they know you so a lot of girls would ask me hey um this person asked me to be in this music video but they asked me to send naked pictures to this email oh, like geez. is that the way you get it well they don't know though, i know i know? know i just think yeah. send them to me uh, first I'm, no, I love your so far. Like, <laughs> let me check them let me check them for you no and i and i've told Public them that service. you know i was trying to because um mm-hmm. when you get off these shows you get you kind of get like a hardened heart where you don't want people to have to go through what you've been through and anything you know, a lot of people think, oh, just because you're not um, up there, you know, a Rosa Costa or, you know, an Amber Rose or people who've been associated right. with a big right. name or something, that doesn't mean that the same things haven't happened to you. People haven't asked you to do the same thing. So I didn't want the girls to think, oh, you know, you do this, you send naked pictures, you're going to get the lead in this video, mm-hmm. then you're going to get this rapper boyfriend, and then you're going to go ahead and be like, you know, on a vodka commercial like Amber Rose. <laughs> like, a lot of that doesn't happen like right. that. And uh, people sitting at home don't know that. So I also wanted to tell them how to get into the book tells you how to get on to a reality show, what to say during interviews, how to get into acting without having, you know, acting it's the same way. You have, you know, acting coaches or acting agents mm-hmm. who tell you you have to send me these kind of pictures or you have to do this or that. And a lot of these girls don't know. And it's the same with modeling. Photographers can take complete advantage of you. They can catch you between fixing yourself so you have like a nipple slip and then you end up on nippleslip.com. And so I try to it's tell It's crazy. It's, it's, it, you mm, know, what was that? Dude? I know, people, I, I've never heard of that one. What? <laughs> I have to say I'm, that too. I'm just doing my due it's diligence. A, it's a real website. It's nipple called, slip. I, I'm sure, I, this is crazy. Com. Nipple and slip. And so it's like, I remember one time I was doing a um a wet t-shirt but i had a bra on and i had adjusted it and i was trying to adjust this white bra and apparently when i adjusted it there was like a nipple slip and then my my um one of my friends called me and i was like that's so weird you're on that website but then they were like no i was on it and you're on it so I had to call the photographer, and there's a whole bunch of issues. And, and so we can't get that, huh? No. <laughs> so I know because it Damn. was forever on the internet. Wait, Man, what? come it on was. now. So you got Kim? it pulled? I got it pulled, and then... We um, can't we buy it? No. <laughs> I know. I would think some people had come printed on, Come on, see, entrepreneuring. You know, and that's the, that's the other thing is, you know, um, is I, I had a guy uh, call me because I'm on 1-800-DIAL-STAR. She's not Star. selling those rights. No, I'm one not. Wait, let me get that one, too. Wait, wait, Kim. one 800 Dial a star and you, Dial can, a star. you can ask a star questions so or talk to them. And this guy was telling me, like, yeah, I have all your posters in my locker. And I was thinking, I don't sell posters, so how do you have them? So mm-hmm. it's just, like, so weird when you start to realize that people are taking advantage and of you. And merchandising you. Yeah. Exactly. So you really have to have, like, a really close circle. And I'm just telling people in the book, that's after what happens on the show. But I just also want people to know, like, when they judge a character, when they judge someone from that show, it's a character. It's not the real person. Yeah. So. Well, I wanted to show them how thick the book was. It's See, 25 chapters. That's right. 25 wow. chapters, you guys. Now. How long did it take you to write it? Two years. Wow, really? It's really in-depth. I didn't have a ghostwriter. It mm-hmm. says in the very beginning in the introduction, it says, you know, this book is written to my knowledge. A lot of people are not going to have, um, you know, great feelings towards it. It's not grammatically correct it's actually how i sound yeah i didn't want an editor to change it at all i just needed them to grammatically correct it so did you keep people's names real or did you nickname i i would if i wanted to talk about someone i would rhyme their name with something because legally you can't just put people on blast because the company owns the name so a lot of girls have not been able to write this book even though in the industry a lot of reality stars wanted to write it Mm -hmm. but i made a deal with the production company that i couldn't use anyone's (coughs) stage names i can use real names but i couldn't use stage names but then again when you use someone's real name you can, they can go into suing you for defacing character. Because so, I wonder about that, because I'm yeah. starting to write a book. I'm just thinking, I hope it doesn't take me two years. you going to be on yeah. nipple slip? <laughs> I mean, your book so far, I'm not, I'm not hopefully not get on, on nipple, nipple slip, slip, but it might happen. I can, I'm going to be there tonight. <laughs> Accidents happen. Yeah, might be at me it's some a, pictures. No, they do ha- and I'm not shy in any way. That's not but it's I mean. not no, fair that they take advantage of it. Exactly, because like, oh, they make money oh, off that website. So it's just, I was mad, mm-hmm. you know? I wanted, and then you get nothing. I mean, I know. I wanted my cut if I'm going to be on that. Well, let me tell you some of the stuff I liked about Kip, because, you know, my whole thing is beautiful, intelligent women who do things. You know, Mm -hmm. I've had some good experiences. Oh, here we go. (laughs) Yeah. She was born in Denver, Colorado, but she moved to Homosassa. 
Did I say it right? Yeah. <laughs> Almost south of Florida. Correct. And that's where she stayed till she was the age of 17. Then she right. moved to California. Now, check it out. Her dad is a trauma ER doc. Uh, her mom is a retired nurse and a cancer survivor. Because later on, that became part of the whole driving force of her yeah. moving forward. You know, so often dealing with struggle. And Kip was a, a person who also dealt with struggle by moving forward. But check it out. She graduated from high school with honors. See, this is what I'm saying. GPA 3.5. <laughs> Captain of her basketball team. So when you look at those legs, take a look at these legs. <laughs> when you look at these legs, see, you understand. You say, well, that's why she got those legs. And, that, and I'm not, okay. I, they, well, hmm. I think she, somewhere I think on one of the shows they asked you what was one of your best assets. So I think, <laughs> I think your butt. But you know, because she's an athlete. That's my point. I'm saying in the she's an she's a woman who's used to being active. She's an athlete, you guys. So she went to Cal State Fullerton on a full basketball scholarship. Yep. So that's not see. That's saying it ain't no jive. So when you get when you get your body looking like this, you know, because Brandy's up and running and eating whatever this shit. She Healthy brought bars. In. Do you eat protein Give, bars? I'm sure. No. See, thank God. Have you tried them? Do you try them? This no. you have to try one of these. No. I'm sharing. No, I'm supposed to apparently start eating right. I just run around. Dio tells me to stop eating. I eat a lot. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Well, What's that? Give us some class. <laughs> yeah. Eat her. I'm she serious. Eats. I'll ask him like, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna work late. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get a pizza. What are you gonna eat?" <laughs> no I like that. pizza, let woman. No I pizza. cook. I cook. Well, you know, she got very involved in philanthropy. You know, for the cause of breast cancer, she graduated with a double major in criminal justice and psych, and with a 3.8 GPA. In four years, she was accepted to Whittier Law School. She put that on hold to pursue her other, the other things that she's involved in. So I want you guys to know. Really, really interesting woman. I wanted to. I always think that it's so important for us to get a full view, you know, because I celebrate, you know, their beauty and their their sensuality. But then, then also, then you get to stand, step back and, and admire their mind and also their uh, their their entrepreneurism to right. try to pursue their own brand. So let's take a look. Can we go? Let's go take a look at her site. Mm. The I real. You, I knew you couldn't wait, right? Man, it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't wait, right? Hey, all that. See all that talking he's doing? He's just trying to smooth you so he can wait, take wait, you down wait. to the dungeon where he where likes to reside. Notes? And I have some good questions and not that stuff where you're doing all that mm. extra, you know, slobbing. Okay, go everybody. ask her those. Ah. While I'm <laughs> are you sure they're good? <laughs> well, they are. No, no, number one is that most of the time you, you get into a scenario where you're going, once you are a first timer on a reality uh -huh. show, Ooh. You're different now than you was the first time. So what was it that became a, a stark contrast to when you first started, when you first was on the show till now? I would have to say um, on the first show, you take things really to heart. When you get eliminated, your mind starts to think. People don't realize, you know, to set the whole scenario up for you, mm -hmm. you know, you, you get on this show and you get in this house and... You're around these girls, and you have no outside connections. When I say that, there's a telephone for 15 minutes every other day. But other than that, you have no electronics. You think you get. Do they just give you the phone? And, and the girls are a trip. The girls are a trip. Yeah, no offense. Really See, that's are. part of that's part of the whole thing. See, I had to go get you in perspective with the other ones. Right. Because that's part of the whole drama. No, it's true. They are a trip. It's true. And, and <laughs> well, if you can't talk to your girlfriend, it's like two days away. <laughs> you can't. You you know, I remember calling my mom one time after elimination, and she was like, "Why are you calling me at five in the morning?" And oh. I was like, "It's five in the morning. I didn't know. We. What are you talking? So you have no clocks. They don't." The microwave oh clock is set to a different time. You have no, you know, you, you take it for granted every day. You get on your Facebook, you get on your Twitter, you're standing in line at Starbucks, you're on your, you know, your phone. They take your phone, they take your watch, they take your mm -hmm. everything. You don't know what time it is. And so this becomes your reality. It really does become a reality. And that's hard to believe, but it's so true. You get so, you, you think that you're just going to like live happily ever after in this mansion with these guys. And it doesn't matter that all these production company people are around. And, and so you start to really get your feelings hurt when you lose a date or when somebody's yelling at you because you don't want to look bad and then and so I would have to say the difference is the fact that when I when you get done with that show you realize that they send you back to your house 
and your other reality starts to come back where you're like, okay, that, that wasn't my life. I was freaking out for no reason at this point. And then when you go to the second show, you realize how fake it is. Mm. So you start to put like what I like to call dramatics on it. And it's just like, <laughs> it's yeah. just like complete, you, you just start to go crazy. Like, you know that it's not real and you know that they already know who they want to win. So if you act crazy, it's not gonna. They know who they want to win from the very time that they cast you. So if you act a fool, it's just gonna up you on your bookings and things outside. Yeah. So on the second show, I'd have to say you feel like a vet and you feel invincible because you're gonna get eliminated when you're gonna get eliminated. So that's when you start to take right. things to a whole nother that's level. Not There's things that you've never seen that we did, and it was just hilarious. On the second show in Mexico, we were. Jumping off the side of the house, trying to go run the streets of Mexico. We were. Do they have a thing with you where they're like, "What if you accidentally get uh, once again your top falls off in the pool or something?" Where they can't sh um, show that or air it. Can, they can like put New black digits. strips over it, but they can't like show the whole like okay. on the. Because that's scene, gonna happen too, just like slip boob, whatever. Oh, I know. Yeah, they put <laughs> nipple you, slip. They put you in the weirdest slip. outfits all the time on reality TV, and you wonder why they have you in them, and then mm -hmm. you start to realize it's to like accentuate everything that you know. You, it's so funny because they're like, okay, we're gonna go in the woods, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tackle this yeti, and I'm like, why does everybody have bathing suits on? If we're going in the woods, <laughs> like I'm so confused right now. Like I know there's gonna be. And, can you say and no or they're no, just like you have, no they'll tell you exactly what you have to wear oh gosh. and so I'm sitting there like are you serious like I'm gonna get scrapes and cuts and yeah. bruises and I've been in the woods I don't know about wow. these girls because you know a lot of them are like strippers and stuff like that so I'm sitting there like I've hunted so if we're really going into the woods I don't want to wear a bikini but the producer was like, no, 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 you have to. You play basketball, girl. We know what you got. how you're cut, okay? We know how you're cut. Now, Kip, so, but do some of the other folks start believe? okay, I can see how people could get caught up mm -hmm. and start believing the bullshit, kind of, like some of the other folks. Was, were other folks be able to keep clear in their minds that it was a show, or was it that some of them get too caught up in the bullshit and start actually believing it. The girls? Yeah. Oh, it it everybody has it become a reality. And what's <laughs> ironic is after you get off the show, everybody starts to get on Twitter and Facebook and like, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have said that. And then you you know, I remember writing, you know, one of my one of the girls on there that I didn't even like and I was like, Girl, I was tripping. I'm so uh, sorry. Like I wanted to kill you, literally. I wanted to stab you with a knife at that time. Like and she was like, No, I know, I hated you too, but it's like so different now that we're back home and you really realize it wasn't that big of an argument it's the fact that it became your reality yeah. but afterwards everybody changes we do bookings together you know i'm not saying i i honestly don't like the girls i probably like two, three for but my you can be cordial show. and get along i can be and completely whatever, cordial yeah. we could be in the same room and i'm right. not gonna have an issue and right. i did i love money with five of the girls from my show so it, it's and five of them that I didn't even like. So it, it's it's like you kind of know you have to work together afterwards as a brand. If they want, if yeah. you have, if you butt heads with someone, they're gonna put you guys on a booking together. So that you're <laughs> to like it's just a no. You I know? like that so, one. I mean, you have to. They're like, oh, and then they put like boxing gloves on the flyer, and they're like, yeah, club tonight. And you're like, oh hell, like are you serious? We're gonna be together at the club, but. I mean, you try to work it out. You as try long to work as you're getting out. paid. So, exactly. So the thing about your book, which is different, is that a number of things. One, really real kind of testimonials about what your experience is with, with an eye toward being helpful to people. Right. Right, to, to make these things, right? You're right. kind of helping the, the folks come behind you. Right. And even in terms of the kind of stuff you shared here, very useful kinds of, you know, stuff here. Mm -hmm. In the book, so everybody knows. And where can they get the book? You can get it on Amazon.com. Yay, Amazon! <laughs> Self-publishing, Kip. Are you self-publishing? No, five sisters publishing. Okay, five sisters and, publishing. And are you one of the sisters of these five sisters or no? No, you're not. I'm not. So no, it's, got, it's, a, it's a pretty good. They're a really good publishing company. So remember that five sisters publishing yeah, org, you guys. They're five really sisters good. publishing. And you can also go to www.kipforcebehindrealitytv.com, and then that'll bring you to a website where you can get the ebook or the actual book sent to you from the publisher instead of going through Amazon or ebook. Or anything. Mm -hmm. You can actually just go to that website and it has both of them side by side. Now I want to take them on That's a little good. brief tour. Are you, I, you take me hold it? No. <laughs> I, well, I didn't mean to take it from you. Well, I know. I saw you all stealing gross, it from me. But I just wanted to show them I'm the I'm going to give her Vanna White moment. I know. No, I've, I've been um, reading it and I actually really enjoyed it. I mean, so, I've been in the business when I was since I was 20. And so and I've been know. in and out. And, yeah. Two years, yeah, It's huh? totally real. And that's what two, I like the most. Years. When I talk to the other people who've read it and they're in the industry, they say, like, 
You know, I haven't had anyone contradict the book yet and say she was completely lying about that. Nobody, even I've given it to a couple reality wow. star girls, and uh-huh. they're like, you got that. I remember exactly Jessica yeah, Rich, um, um, Rabbit from Real Chance of Love 1. She came up to me in the gym, and she was like, how the hell did you remember all that? And I was like, she was like, you got commentary down to a T. You got Because you got a 3.5 GPA? Yeah, I know. Exactly. I told her, my, <laughs> no, my secret, my secret is, you have a good memory. No, 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 my secret is, which, which my, uh, my manager knows, that I don't drink. So every time you saw me with champagne, it was Sprite with cherries. Or every so time wait a minute, you don't drink I don't, too. I don't drink. So, you, so uh, she's kind of a good everything. girl, Kim. Kim's kind of a good girl. No, when we go to a club, he never has to worry about me acting a fool. I'm not going to act a fool. Oh, I, I, I really don't. She's if I, a designated unless driver. Unless I'm really bored and I'm like, okay, DL, get me a drink because I'm bored. And I'm, like, oh, I'm going to sit over here. But it's never to the point where I can't remember anything. And because I was on the show with really crazy people that wow. I was scared if I laid in bed at night, my hair was going to get chopped yeah. off. The producers don't care about that to be honest if i got my hair chopped off in the middle of the night they'd be like oh suck it up we'll get you some extensions you know so i'm sitting there like with my hair wrapped up at night like like boxing gloves on like sleeping like this so i i stayed sober the entire time and i remembered all that why the other girls are like what happened yesterday I remember one of the girls woke up and she didn't even know she was eliminated. She texted my phone and she was like, "What the hell happened last night?" I was like, "Cause they're just it's just free flowing alcohol all all day all the night." Time. If you want it at three thirty in the morning, the producers will come bring you a cup of vodka. Like it's not a problem. To wow. them. They make sure that instead of water, you'll have vodka on the challenges. Like they stay with alcohol. You think people are drinking water because they're like exhausted, but they, it's like only vodka. You really don't understand. They're like vodka only. It's so bad. Terrible. It's so bad. No water That's for disgusting. You. No, it's serious. It's twenty four seven. I mean, cool. Have fun with it. But when you're on a challenge and you're really trying to win, and you have five drunk girls with you, you just yeah. you're sitting there like, wow. And then what? once you're drunk, you don't care. So, so you would have won, but they had already feel, decided you know, they wanted to win. See. No, I know, but still, you 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 know, girls are. To me, yeah. girls are annoying in general sometimes. So then when I have five drunk ones, I was like, oh, I'm going to go home. So I'm going to end up socking one of these girls in the face right now. Like, it's horrible. Well, hanging with you would be cool anyway. Imagine this. So you have a designated driver. All you have time. fine okay. kept force driving. Oh, come on. I'm designated. From club actually, to club. Okay, book, come on. I have a book release party on the 23rd of this month at Colony this Saturday, and I already, I'm the DD already. Like, I'm already, That's, I already talked to my friends, so. Tell them about that again now. On the 23rd of this month at Colony in Los Angeles, everybody come out, book release party. Um, also, the USC football players are celebrating their preseason party. And then we have a couple people who might come out who are my personal friends, you know, Glasses Malone, people like that, who are going to come out and help celebrate so definitely come out it's just you know get, get together to celebrate soft launch of my book this saturday then, yep salad are we saturday going colony colony, colony, colony <laughs> there we go colony. that's the way to do it now that we've been we invited <laughs> no, I'll do you tell me everybody's invited oh. come through like right, for real right. i really want like everybody anybody who's in la chat room people anybody who hears this come through colony it's do you have plans be- victor because we're so yeah, you know I, we're I so busy now. we're so I, in demand i'm good i'm good i don't have plans now that's cold, bro. Anybody want to do that to us? Hey, no, we're in demand, man. Come <laughs> Wait a on, minute. man. We I can discuss this. I, you know, some, I have to say something because, you know, see, you guys take it all the time. I need something to do Saturday night. Come. That sounds fun to me. No, seriously, come out. I'm so serious. Come out. Cool. You heard I'm that, Brandy. No, you know, you know, you, know, you drive me. You know, you know I need to be, be holding and containing the guest list. It's just over here come on, Brandy. Right so. Well, you know, we do come out. You know, and if Brandy's very interested, you know, we're trying. We're expanding. Come out. Mm-hmm. See we're expanding, what I do. and Brandy's going out and covering all this stuff out on the scene all the time. So yeah. No, you should. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. because I don't drink does not mean I don't act a fool. I <laughs> your friends <laughs> drink. <laughs> I, I, I will be out there doing the snaky leg, hitting the buggy. Like I'm there, even though I'm not drunk. I'm I'm good. Like. I love what you're wearing. Thank you. Can you tell me where you got it? Oh, we about to... Okay, before you guys even look too far, (laughs) let's enter the site. (laughs) No, because I have the picture. That's on my notes. I have to take you on a quick run. First of all, when you get inside the site, she's got information about the book, you guys. You can see right here. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Thank you, Blog Talk. See you later. Blog Talk. Blog Talk. I'm calling her Blondie. (laughs) Oh, okay. She sounds like a Blondie. Okay, take a look, you guys. She has her portfolio, her store, her videos, her calendar, her credits. Now, let's go to her portfolio. Because I wanted you to see some of the pics. Because last night, as I was doing my due diligence, (laughs) doing my research, trying to make sure I was prepared for Kip. 
be able to delve insightful into her past. Okay, all that extra. progress. I stopped to view the pictures, and then two hours later, <laughs> I was back at work. Ooh. So let's take a look. Now, she was Kip, she's, she's natural. <laughs> What, man, why are you so speechless? She's beautiful. Natural. Thank you. I'm a, I'm oh, that a, was fun. I like that one. It, I, it looks fun. I just want to... <laughs> <laughs> you know, for that one, I was just like, guys, strap me up. Let's go. That was for Love Magazine, L-O-V. It was fun. Man, we like that. Okay, thank you, Top Benefit. That one was just a day on Malibu Beach. Mm. Mm-hmm. The same, <laughs> never the same. same day. I, I just switched my. Wait, and Mario, do you have a tattoo or was that? No, that's a belly ring. Oh, I actually tight. put my earrings on the end of my belly ring. No, Mario, don't forget our chat room. See, you get so enamored that you forget that sometimes. I did. I wanted to tell you they were Matt right. McAllister. So, I forgot about him too. I'm sorry, yeah, you Matt and PMC. Hey, you sit up there making comments. And I you can't. Just... Well, they would forgive me because they see where I am distracted. <laughs> That's okay, right. keep, continue. Well, I'm just gonna I'm flowing through them now. I know. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's nice. I like. That. I always like the jeans and the t-shirt. That's and nice. That stuff's always oh, just that's cute. That's nice. She looks all healthy. Oh, that's wrong. Pitch. PMC said we don't need the hot pick segment since she's here. That's cold. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's wrong, man. You eliminated my show. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the way the you know the brothers. I mean, you must get that the brothers like a more full figure. In fact, not just the brothers, the Latinos too. So you must be getting some ethnic <laughs> following from all over the every <laughs> I mean, Kip, you gotta be getting all kind of from I've, all I've never, walks of life. I've never actually dated a white guy. Well, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I guess that's the question. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, wow, okay. Uh, boyfriend, no boyfriend. boyfriend. Well, take a look at this. See this? He oh, doesn't care what you do? Lord. No. He's so totally <laughs> independent, not jealous. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. That's a good guy if you yeah, have that. No, I had one. It didn't work out. So. I understand. They got to be more understanding. They, they don't understand. But for a woman like yourself, as entrepreneuring as you are, mm-hmm. you need someone to support you. Mm-hmm. You know, half the time I have to say you. I have a boyfriend because, you know, it's all the same. Let me take you out. Let me yeah. have a good time. I'm like, you just want to see what color panties I have. I know. <laughs> I, don't bl- I, I can't blame him. <laughs> I'm not I myself either. wasn't. I'm not why don't you just ahead of time say you want to see the panties and I'll show you right at the beginning of well, the night and that's it. Now, now that y'all brought it up. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't raise the issue. I'm just saying, but I can't respond. I'll hit them with the cut. They'll be like, can I get your number? And I'll be like 40. I'll give them my basketball number. Or oh, they'll be funny. like, They'll be like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, pink. My panties are pink. That's probably what you're trying to get to, right? Color are they See, I like on? you. You're right off the bat. Well, I like her. Here she is mistreating a chain. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Oh, those chains. Oh, got away from Vic. Hey, Vic, let him see that desktop. Hold on. Uh, I'm on. We got all these pictures we want you to so when did you there think of writing your book? Like just two years ago, you went, that's it, I'm going to write a book? Or had you been thinking about it? When I got off the show, I had over a thousand messages and on my Facebook. And I was like, this is ridiculous. And at first, you want to try to reply to every single one of them. Mm-hmm. And then I got to the point where I was like, no, I'm not. I'm going to do a mass reply. So that's when I decided to write the book. And then I got massive emails after like, hey, you know, experiences. Like, hey send me these pictures and I'll put you in this mm. video or hey how do I get into this and so I decided to do that and at first were you answering them back and you I was one by one doing by it one for by free one. or what were you doing I was doing it for free it was taking forever but I just felt like you know because people tuned in and cared so much mm-hmm. and watched the show that I wanted to be a good you know character for them to be able to come to and then it became so overwhelming because once you reply I realize people reply and then they reply and reply I talk and about reply this all the time with blah, 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 blah. social media with these guys about like if you reply once and then it's like hey won't go out well you're trying to get them to chase like, you oh yeah that's the whole point be like hey I heard your mom's sick because you know my mom going out I'm like yeah thank you I'll send her prayers thank you you want them to Speaking obsess of, don't you <laughs> no, but they get to the point where they're just trying to spark up the or, or on DM. I don't want to hear it. They can no, obsess yeah. all they want. That's what they do. Like on you Twitter, they'll be fantasy. like, "Oh, you're cute," and I'll reply. I always reply like, "Thank you," just to let them know, even though you're saying yeah. that. And then they'll be like, "Yeah, so when can we meet up?" And I'm like, "Wow, just because I said thank you, like now." All That's when you have to sell well, tickets to a coffee. Like, well, say, okay. <laughs> but take a look at these outfits, you guys. Like, so, Kip, come on in the seat. Take a look, so you can see why. 
they are responding. Because look at these outfits that mm -hmm. she's bringing forth. Oh, that's cute. Now, yeah, these nice. are all, you know, the kind of looks <laughs> that's bound to get you some email. <laughs> oh, that girl, that's a good one. And, of course, you're on Facebook, Twitter. That is a Facebook, good one. Facebook, backslash Kit Forest, Twitter, oh, at Kit Beautiful Forest, use of color. Instagram, are you? VH1 Blonde Baller. Oh, my goodness. Are you pinning yet? Am I what? Pinning on Pinterest. That's the latest. Pinterest? Pinterest. Yeah. I'm Pinterest, back to the beginning. I, I know. I'm like, how do we add another one? How do you, you add another one? Give me more homework. Every time there's a new social study deal, I'm like, get on it. You gotta get on it. And start talking to people. I'm like, oh, my my whole phone, I was standing in line and he's like, are you paying attention to me? I'm like, no, I'm trying to answer the 55 social network sites that I have. Yes. They need to just combine them all into one massive. Someone needs massive. to do that. Well, here, and here she lives here. You can go take a you look. You can find her. Go take a look, everybody. We, so we remind you, www.realkipforce.com, realkipforce.com, where you can see the portfolio, learn all about the book. She's got videos up there, too, and a calendar of appearances. And remind them once again, Kip, about this weekend. Mm -hmm. That's oh, Colony the, on the 23rd. Colony in LA. It's a club. Come out. Soft book release party. It's going to be fun. USC pre uh, football Drinks. season party. Drinks for sure. What Colony. time again? Um, guest list closes at 10 30, so be there before 10 30 if you're a person not talking to deals. <laughs> <laughs> out there in, in, uh, in uh, virtual land, I'd probably come before 10 30, definitely. Okay, cool. Now, 10, Mar be there at 10. now, Mara, I have a. I don't know if you have some information. Something's happening in September with Kip. Yes. <coughs> or what's happening in September? <laughs> I actually shot for Hustler magazine, and oh. I, I know people first freak out, but no, I I'll, have, I'll be <laughs> calm. <laughs> it's actually if you've ever been. We're not going to be able to have the yeah, issue be, here be, while you're here. We <laughs> can look at it in a different day and then. But no. you want us to be, I want, it's wonderful to be able to look and then look and then look. Yeah, no, that's the problem. Who That'll gets be a problem that? for you. Who gets that no. but us? No, actually, <laughs> if you look at Hustler Magazine, if you've ever opened it, it's oh, yeah. complete porn, like it's porn, naked, naked, naked. But I actually am the first girl ever to shoot not naked. I'm implied. You don't see nipples. You don't see anything. I'm not doing anything. Really? They're just awesome. doing a feature on sexy, smart women. Mm -hmm. So they're doing a 10-page feature on my book. And so I shot Implied, which is all over the Did web. Did you do, like, body paint? Nope. It's just actually me completely oh, okay. covered, uh, pillows. <clears throat> no nipple, not a no even nipple. a half no little no naked. Oreola, no nipple just a And they've touch. never had anyone do that. <laughs> Hustler needs you to be fully naked when you're in that yeah, magazine. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, we, we, we admire you. <laughs> You know, I tried. <laughs> no. We're behind you, Kip, Kip. Ironically, when I was Kip. at the shoot, they were like, you sure you don't want to pull the pillow off? Yeah, like, I'd be oh, like, come on, Kip. I'm sure. So what? Make like an uh, old man's coming out? day. It's actually the September issue. September It'll be issue. out in September, but it has all the um, Christmas themes. So it's, they sell them two months in advance. Okay. So it will be out in purchase, in stores, everything. And... Um, so I'll definitely. It, they're hot pictures. I gotta admit, you know, it's kind of risky. It's Did not, you get to approve? Like approve? Yes. I like the one so yes. far. I would definitely not. No, they're nothing like that. I have nothing on, which is ironic because I've never oh. shot like that. And promises, uh, I promises. definitely will not. <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely not make that issue to my dad. That will not happen. It's pretty risque, but it's not completely naked, and there's no porn that happened in it. So, but Hustler is such a good magazine. You know, you get behind them, and they have such beautiful women who do actually more than what you think. You know, a lot of them are involved in charities. A lot mm -hmm. of the Hustler girls. Yeah, there's so much going on behind there the really scenes. Is. People don't there know really about. Is. You know, they wouldn't have a Hustler wow. casino and Hustler stores and everything. Oh yeah, it was nothing. You know, so. Oh yeah, no, I, we we did Hustler coming up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know all about it, yes. I wouldn't have a big collection of that while at the you know penthouse of that no. Playboy. The only person, the only people I'm going to get naked for is Playboy. And I told Hustler that, and so I'm working on Playboy. I don't care if I get naked for Playboy because that's that's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah. Well, I let's encourage you to work. I'm encouraging myself. Playboy, myself. come forward. I'm encouraging mm -hmm. myself. I shoot for them on the ninth as far as, you know, test shooting. We'll yeah. see. I'm supposed to be working out in the meantime, trying to get all skinny. 
They You're like funny. Skinny girls. Eat a few bars for just a few days in a row. That's what I'm doing. Uh, it just I, helps. We'll go, I stay with this Red Bull right oh, And Red Bull. <laughs> sugar free? Healthy. No, it's it's not sugar free. I know. I saw the zero calorie zero zero zero. You She's not eating one. like you, Brandy. No. She gets chili it's really, fries She looks sometimes. amazing. I, she you does. Know what? I'm really I'm I'm really actually bad. Like I was watching the Heat Oklahoma game yesterday with like a big fat slice of pizza and. Mm. <laughs> Some of us are just a little bit more crazy about it. Yeah, I'm not. I get yeah, up and I run in the morning, and uh, you know, I just tried out for the LBL, the Laundry Basketball League. So we're doing. Uh, Look, they got a, we, we knew about that? the football. Yeah. We didn't know about around? laundry and basketball. Yeah, yeah they have one. Oh, I'd yeah. love to see that. Yeah. yeah what so, kind of shot? What's your what kind of what, what's your forte? I play. I'm the two. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna play the one. Yeah. Hey, isn't that you something, you guys? Well, That's I want to thank our guests, and we gotta acknowledge. The person, tell us about your manager who brought you in here today. Mm -hmm. The love man, he's an old friend of ours. Yeah. Is he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damien Love, Damien, thank that, you. That cannot yes, be good. Come on, Stan, you know, he's trying to hide. He's, try, he's trying to hide. Yeah, yeah, you know, D, D's always Well, thank out. you all for coming always. in. We want them to go and check out this brand. Take a look to yeah, what definitely. Kip is doing. The story is wonderful. You know, the way we see the other sides of it, how she go went about building this and how she continues. Not quite what you expect when you look at those pictures. So much more to her, which is a wonderful thing. Our guest, Kip Forrest, everybody. Yes. And as you say, on our way, we always say, uh. it's good getting to know you.